Hi, today I will show you how to create a nested custom inspector in Unity. So here is an empty Unity project and we will start by creating a script folder and an editor folder which will contain our editor script. Okay, so next we are going to make two c -sharp files. First is the parent component and the next one will be a scriptable object which we will call nested. And we will start by editing the parent. In this component, we first create a variable to reference our nested object. And then remove those unused functions. Now let's open our nested file and change the parent class from mono behavior to scriptable object. For the sake of this example, I will just add some properties. So here, character name. And next, an uh, int level. And finally, another int, life. Next, I will just make it easier to create some scriptable object within the editor with create asset menu. So here we add a menu option, uh, create character. And the default file name will be character. Now let's create our editor files. So first parent editor and then nested editor. And I will start with nested editor to create the custom inspector for the nested scriptable object. So we want to use the namespace unity editor and change mono behavior to editor. All your custom inspector will inherit from editor. And now we specify that our custom editor is for the nested type class. We also want to remove those leftover function from the mono behavior. Now I will just add the unenable function and since we have three properties inside our nested class I will declare a serialized property for each of them so character name another one for level And the last one, life. Inside the onEnable function, I can now initialize those properties with the values from our nested object. So here I use serialized object dot find property and the name of the property. 
So one for each the level and for the life. Now we can create the uninspector GUI function. And first we will call serialized object.update to make sure we get the current values from our nested object. And then we will call applied modified properties to push whatever value we modified in the inspector back to the nested object. Now I will simply create a property field for each variable. So for a moment we will have something very similar to the default inspector. Let's go back into Unity inside our script folder and create some scriptable object from our nested class using the menu we created earlier. So character one and let's give it a name, uh, a level and some life. I will create another character and just give it different values. Okay, I will just save my current scene and uh, name it uh, tutorial. Now I will add a new game object, which will be our parent. So I give it the parent component and drop one of my character into the nested object field. So right now we have nothing special. First, we need to create the editor for the parent. Same as before, we add Unity Editor and change Mono Behavior to Editor. And we add the tag Custom Editor with the type of parent. We now add the only property of the parent, which is the reference to the nested object. And we initialize it inside the onEnable function. Then we create the onInspector GUI function with the calls to update and apply modified properties. And finally, one property field for the nested object. We actually need to modify the find property because the name of the variable is not just nested, we call it nested object inside the parent class. Okay, 
back to Unity and once again all we did just show the same as the default inspector. So first let's try to upgrade the look of our scriptable object inspector. So I will just add a space here and then I will change the look of the live property to a slider that goes from 0 to 100. And we need to set the life to the slider returned value. Switch to Unity and we can now see our new slider for the life of our characters. But if we check the parent, it's still the same. And what we want is to show the custom inspector of our nested object here. So let's go back to the parent inspector and we will now use the create editor function and pass the nested object as the argument of the function. This function return an editor object and we can then call the oninspector GUI from it. If we go back to Unity and check our parent object, we can now finally see the inspector from the nested object directly inside the parent inspector. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope this is going to be useful for some of you. I will leave a link in the description so you can download this small project. Don't hesitate to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.